This YouTube channel is in desperate need of a makeover. This YouTube cover I've had for three years. It needs updating. I want to update my animated logo, lower thirds, end screen, as well as create some eye-catching and clickable thumbnails. And I want to do all of that with a £300 budget or $350. Is that even possible? Let's find out. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video and today I'm going to be giving this channel a well needed makeover as well as giving you guys some tips for growing your own YouTube channels. A big thanks to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. This is where I'm going to be going to find the freelancers needed to give this channel a makeover. My aim with this makeover is to not only make this channel look better but also help it grow by increasing watch time, engagement, views and subscribers. Now I've had this channel for over five years. You may not even have a YouTube channel yet or you might have just started one. If that's the case then I highly recommend branding your channel and getting a logo professionally designed because it's probably much more affordable than what you think. Let me quickly show you. Look if I just jump onto Fiverr a quick search for logo designers and I can see some here for five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars all very reasonable. Fiverr by the way for those of you that don't know is one of the best places to find freelancers for your creative projects. You can find everything from graphic designers, video editors, voiceover artists, visual effects experts. So if you have a creative task and you don't have either the time or the skill to do it yourself then this is where Fiverr comes in. Now pro tip here okay if you're creating a logo for a YouTube channel make sure it's nice and easy to see when it's very small. Remember this is YouTube chances are most people will be watching on a phone so if you want your channel and logo to stand out make sure it catches the eye. I find simple is best try just using two colors and keeping it clean and crisp. Here are some examples of logos that that work really well and here are some examples of logos that don't work so well. No offense. Now I already have a logo that I'm happy with so I can skip this step but what I would like to do is update the animated logo that appears at the start of each video and very quickly here is an evolution of my animated logo so far. 2017 I made this one myself really not great but it did the job. 2020 when I hit 50k I updated my logo plus the animation much better. 2021 same logo, new animation. And here we are coming into 2023 and once again it's time for an update. Now I'm actually really happy with the way that my current logo animates in but what I would like to see is this logo have a bit more depth, maybe some more shadows perhaps, something that makes this a little bit more three-dimensional. I'd also like the logo to be a bit more creative in the way that it transitions into the video. Now just out of pure curiosity I want to see what's the cheapest I could get this done for and after a quick search I came across this guy Vibes Kit who says I will create an awesome logo animation for your YouTube intro in 4k for just five dollars. This includes color matching with your logo, sound effects, unlimited revisions, express delivery and the overlay of text. That sounds a bit too good to be true. Shall we find out? Order placed, logo sent. Now whilst we wait for Vibes Kit to send me my order let's move on to my YouTube channel cover. That's the banner that runs across the top of your YouTube channel. Now here is my original YouTube cover that I created myself back in 2017. Yes it looks terrible. I then updated it to this one which I was much happier with. I like the clean minimal vibe but it's been the same for over three years and out of everything that I'm having updated this is what I'm looking forward to most. Also very important if we look at this YouTube channel on a mobile device what you'll see is that it's very repetitive. Logo here, logo here. It doesn't feel like good use of this space. Also I'd like to make this cover look more interesting. Maybe add the human element or some action shots to this YouTube cover. So let's jump back onto Fiverr, type in YouTube cover design and see what we've got. Now the search tool on Fiverr is actually really good. You can search by budget, delivery time, pro services. These are designers that have been hand vetted for quality and service and all of these features come in at extremely useful. They're also offering 15% off your first order to anyone that uses the link in my description so be sure to check it out. I will link it below. Now I've narrowed my designers down to two. We've got this designer here they're charging $25 for a YouTube cover and we've got this one here who's charging $10 for a YouTube cover. Now both have good examples of their work so you know what I'm going to place an order with both of them. I'm going to send them both the exact same brief images tagline and any other assets they might need for the work and see what comes back. They might both look great or one might look much better than the other. Let's find out. Order placed. 
Now, whilst I've been doing that, Vibes Kit has sent me my $5 animated logo. And to my surprise, he's not just sent one, he sent me 10 animated logos. Should we take a look? Okay, nice. I like that he's added sound effects to this. Okay, let's see another one. Okay, look, not bad. Some of these aren't exactly on brand for my channel, but you know what? For $5 and 10 logos, I'm certainly not complaining. This is way more than what I was expecting. So look, this just goes to show, if you're new to YouTube and you don't have much of a budget for branding or logos, then don't worry, because for the price of a cup of coffee, you can have your logo animated 10 different ways, which is truly remarkable. Now, as much of a bargain as this is, I can quite clearly see that my logo has been placed into a pre-built template to create these animations. And if I'm honest, I'm looking for something a bit more custom and tailored to my requirements. This was a really interesting experiment, but out of everything that I'm having created, the animated logo is where I'm willing to spend the most of my budget. Custom animations, visual effects work, this all takes time. So I'm happy to pay for it if it means getting the results that I'm looking for. So I'm going to contact a visual effects artist and I'm going to invest $200 of my budget into updating this animation. Okay, so whilst we wait for the delivery of these assets, let's Let's move on to something that's really, really important when it comes to YouTube, and that's end screens. The most important metric when it comes to YouTube is watch time. Watch time is what influences the YouTube algorithm. The longer you can keep people on the platform, the more YouTube will reward you for it. So if at the end of your video, you can encourage your viewer to watch another video and keep them on the platform, then YouTube will love you for it. And the best way to do that is by making good use of your end screen. Now, for those of you that have been subscribed to this channel for a while, you would have noticed that at the end of each video, I say something along the lines of, if you'd like to learn more about smartphone filmmaking and gimbal moves, then I have plenty more videos on this channel. I highly recommend checking out this one here, which will teach you eight creative transitions. I then literally point at a video that I bring up on screen to try and encourage people to watch more. And if they do, I've increased that viewer's watch time. Now, in the interest of curiosity and fairness, let's find another animator for this job. But let's go with this one here. Now, not only would I like a new end screen created, but I'd also like some new lower thirds. Lower thirds are those things that appear at the bottom of your screen. They usually have a name or a job title on. And these are a great way of letting your audience know who you are, especially if they're new to your channel. Now, at this point, you might be saying to yourself, well, Steve, can you not just do this yourself? And yes, I could. There are templates out there that make these things much easier these days. But to be honest, I just don't feel like I'm very good at it. And I'm never happy with anything that I create, particularly when it comes to graphic design. It also eats up a lot of my time. And to be honest, I'd rather just be making videos. You get to a certain stage of your YouTube journey where you realize there's only so much you can do. There are some jobs that are best allocated to other people, people who specialize in that field. This could be admin, brand negotiation, accounting, graphics design, my skill set, my passion is making videos. And to be honest, that's all I really want to do. So I'm happy to pay someone to do the jobs that either I don't have the time or the skill set to do myself. Also, by the way, if you have a YouTube channel with a following, then the Fiverr Influencer Program is definitely worth signing up for. You simply apply for a partnership plan that works for you. And once accepted, you can create content, share it with your audience and enjoy your earnings. Now, the last job on my list is to get some eye-catching and clickable thumbnails created. Sometimes I create my own thumbnails. It depends if I've got the time and they're easy to do. Other times I have the vision, but not necessarily the skill. This sound design thumbnail, for example, was created using Fiverr. And look, since I'm happy with this thumbnail and the video did well, I'm gonna go back to the same designer and order three more. So I'm gonna message this designer. He charges $10 for a thumbnail, which I think is really reasonable, especially considering how important thumbnails are. So I'm going to send him my assets and place my order. So that is it. All orders placed and budget spent. Now all there is to do is wait. Three days to be exact for all designs to be received and approved. Now, there was a little bit of back and forth with the designers, but everyone seemed happy to make the amendments that I needed. So let's see the results, starting with the new YouTube cover. Now, if you remember, I sent the exact same brief to two different designers, and this is what's come back. Designer one charged $10 and sent over two versions. Here are those designs. Nice, clean, minimal, exactly what I asked for, very on brand. I like both of these, but probably prefer design two. Design one has plenty of action, very casual camera heavy, but Design 2 does the same, but I feel the learning aspect of the channel is a little clearer. 
Okay, Designer 2 charged $25, also sent over two versions, but this one was by far my favorite. For me, this design has everything. It's clean, clear, minimal, sums up the channel really well. We've got the smartphone, laptop, notepad, the channel name, and it works really well on both desktop and mobile. This is the cover that I'm gonna go for for now, but I'm definitely gonna keep the other two just in case I need them in the future. Thumbnails, okay, I ordered three eye-catching and clickable thumbnails, $10 each, so $30 in total. Let's take a look at the first one. Gimbal moves and speed ramps, love it. Sums up the video really well and everything is nice and clear. We've also got this one here for a cinematic smartphone filmmaking tutorial. This was the old thumbnail. I felt we needed to see the smartphone in this image more. Now we do, this looks great. And the final thumbnail for the video that you're watching right now, so you've already seen it and you clicked on it, so it must have worked in some way. But in all seriousness, what do you think of this thumbnail? What made you click on it and do you think it could be improved? Do let me know below. End screen and lower thirds. Okay, this costs $60 and this is what we've got. I've got two new lower thirds. We've got this one here that works well on a dark background and this one here that works well on a white background. Both have the animated logo and brand colors. The animated logo with the shutter effect has also been added. Also as an extra bonus, my $60 also included an animated logo, very similar to my original, just with a more 3D effect added to it. Nice. We also now have a brand new end screen that animates in and has space for two recommended videos. Now I know that this end screen might seem minimal, but this was my brief. I wanted this end screen to have one clear mission, and that mission is to encourage people to watch more videos. Animated logo. Okay, this costs $200. We've been back and forth quite a bit on this one, and actually I've ended up reining it back quite a bit, because remember, I'm not after a rebrand or a new logo, I'm simply looking to improve the one that I already have. So let's just remind ourselves of my original logo. And now let's have a look at the all-new improved version. And we then transition into the video. This logo has everything that I was hoping for, but let's watch it again at half speed so we can see what's happening. Okay, red button falls and bounces. Looks much more 3D, I love that effect. Camera shutter kicks in, we then animate in the play button. Logo gets a bit smaller and we click on the word learn. Love this, excellent work. I'm extremely happy with this and we'll be using this in all future videos. So what did you think of this YouTube channel makeover? Hopefully it's given you some ideas for your own channel. This is definitely something I've been meaning to do for a while and I'm extremely happy with the results. So be sure to check out Fiverr, I will leave the link in the description below. If you'd like to learn more about growing on YouTube, then be sure to check out this video right here, and I will see you in the next one.